Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on the day of Tuesday, April the 16th, 2024. And for all those still honoring Goddess Durga, this is the eighth day of the Navratris, a very auspicious time that we all really enter into. And you might be feeling that you might have felt different and uh, you can say lifting of your spirit um, just as you just came into your awake awakened state when you woke up, right? And there was a certain vibration in the air, a certain upliftment. Trust that, that yes, you are tuning in correctly and your intuition trusted very much this day because um, the heart center is open and is being open further for everyone, not in a dangerous manner. This is for you to embrace the sublime, you can say, power of heaven. So go ahead and take nice deep breaths in as much as you can and trust trust what you receive. And, and also, um, of course, for those who are visual, you might say, like, I'm left behind. You feel a tingling between your third eye. Trust that, too. So any um, spontaneous, you can say, impulse you get to see something or to examine something carefully, go ahead and trust that, too. It will it will have good effects for you this day. And also for those who are, of course, um, auditory and like to listen to everything, uh, this is a good time to engage with sound. Sound as 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 not just something sitting in the background, but as something that you can use in prayer and invocation, in affirmation, and in in upliftment, really. So this is the time to try all of your faculties out. And maybe you are visual and you decide to become auditory this day. Go, Go ahead and do that because there's a sea of angels surrounding earth right now in all different rainbow colors, really. But the one who's come forward for us is the Archangel, the Supreme Archangel of Healing. And that is Archangel Raphael. Now, even if you don't remember his name, because I I know I'm an expert and I, uh, you know, pronounce it properly. But if it's difficult for you to remember, just say Archangel of Healing and he will come forward. But do call. Call upon the angels if you need them. And uh, also your guardian angel, that doesn't mean that you you do not have any connection with your guardian angel this day. You have your guardian angel with you every nanosecond of your life. You just have to keep on calling. So never, ever feel alone. Not for one moment should you feel not supported, not understood, misunderstood, that there's no one here, that what do I do? All this, you don't have to turn to cards every time for that. That's an instrument of the light. You should have all of the answers you can see already sitting within you. And you're just looking at the cards for validation to say, oh, that's what I was receiving and I trust it. So this day, do that a lot with yourself. Guidance, guidance, guidance. Just keep on receiving it and do not sit on problems and do not worry about anything. Just keep surrendering them. You know, I surrender my problems and concerns about regarding whatever, whatever it is, fill in the blank. In your own way, in your own words, in your own timing. This is not ritualistic with the angels. So there's no particular time that you cannot reach them. They're always available. And you don't have to be wearing a certain outfit. And you don't have to speak a certain prayer. It's your sincere heart and believing and just trusting that what you're receiving, because they're very subtle and gentle. So sometimes you might even miss the answer that comes and say that, oh, I, I called, but th- nothing came. So ask for a sign. If you feel that you're that way, you're very sensitive right now, you're very upset, your your health is not good, or you're tired, or you're at work, and you cannot, you know, just look around, because then that, that, that will be considered strange. So whatever it is that you want to do, to invite them. Because Archangel Raphael, if you see the vision here, has come forward literally wanting to take you forward, to uplift you. He's rising, right, into the universal sky, into the light of God, surrounded in a huge orb of light. You can ask for that huge orb to be part of your own aura or or your environment or your house 
or even relationships to surround them, your family, whatever concern you have to surround that concern. You might say, how can a concern be surrounded by light? Because it's words, it's a concern, it's an energy. So how do I surround it with light? You leave that to Archangel Raphael and tell him to give you some sign that that is then in movement of clearing and healing and is being taken care of. So that huge orb behind him, we start with that. And then if you see him, he's just surrounded with that light, right? He's glowing. Ask for that glow, that feel, that vitality, that vibrancy of that connection to the Akashic spaces. Then you feel more secure knowing that you're surrounded. And then if you see if he's holding, why that? Why is he holding what seems to be like smoke going into the universe? Again, that's the burning away of concerns into the holy scepter of light that he's holding for you. Again, you can ask, I want help. I want burning away. I want release from. Again, come up with your own words. And he will just send it straight into the Akashic spaces for you. That's why everything behind him is a sparkling blue sky of the night. It doesn't mean it's it's just nighttime that it goes into. It's the actual power of the universe, the sparkling power. The power of wishes coming true. So go ahead and send whatever thoughts you have or feelings you have regarding being stuck, not getting answers, dealing with the same thing again and again. Don't stop yourself from believing and trusting and trying this day more than ever. The Divine Ones want you to be uplifted. That's why everything around Him is surrounded. He's just covered, right? You cannot see one Small little section, you can say, of his neck, but otherwise you cannot see him. That's you. That's how close the heavenly spaces and the heavenly beings are around you and within you, literally guiding you forward. So why stick to blame and worry and concern and confusion and lack and despair and fighting and arguments and anxiety? Are any of those things, things you enjoy? No, right? So release them. The moment that concern even comes to thought or you're forced to react to something, don't react because he's holding a huge scepter of change also, a disc of change in his hand. That's the disc also from the Akashic spaces. It's literally moving clockwise. And for those who already do, Some form of energetic healing, you know, moving clockwise is always moving forward. You can try that for yourself. Just look at that orb and maybe move your hand clockwise over it. I I release, I release, I release. I change, I change, I change. I am changed, I am changed, I am changed, Archangel Raphael. It is changed, it is changed, whatever the situation or concern might be. Right here, right now, you've changed it. If it's a manifestation and you say it's a long-term manifestation, it's going to take time to come around. So moving this disc around is not going to help me. No, but you're going to know where you are and what you need to do and how you need to be and what you need to apply in order to bring it into tangible reality. He's holding it for you. So he's saying that don't think that you are going through all of the steps alone, the application alone. You will be guided You will be told where to stop and where not to go and what not to do. You cannot go wrong with this. That's why he's come forward specifically this day to help you. Archangel Raphael just wants to see you absolutely healthy in every way. Mentally, emotionally, all the layers of your aura and spirit. Absolutely feeling connected to God feeling that you have a meaningful life, you understand your life purpose, why you are here, what it is that you're supposed to do, what you did not do, the regrets that you carry, release that too. Anything that comes up within your feelings or thoughts, 
that is troublesome again and worrying. And again, you're like, here we go again. We're just going down that dark road again. I don't want to go there anymore. Then go ahead and ask them to wear the huge gown of holistic change. And why is it called that? Because it's harmonizing you. It's bringing peace where peace is needed within you and around you and in you. In, in the with the people that you relate to, converse with, your relationships, wherever it is that you use your voice to, to engage in conversations this day, you'll all be wholesome. You'll enjoy yourself. Just let go. Let go of all that you're holding on to where you think you have to just act perfectly. There's no perfection needed. Just... <laughs> Breathe and let it go. That's why his gown is just flowing and glowing with the light. Whatever you need me to be, however you need me to be, Archangel Raphael, I trust and I let go. And I'm trying and I'm enjoying. Enjoyment is very important. That is why half of his gown of holistic change is white purification just the pure you the inner child just the way you were created with no flaws with no problems just flowing and glowing with the light come back to that forget about all the mistakes and all the pain and all that you've gone through it's yesterday it's past it's gone And then the green part of his gown is saying whatever you're troubled with and you're dealing with and you keep on trying and you keep on having to heal the same thing again and again. It's a care. It's a burden. It's a baggage. It's a problem. But problem never comes without a solution in the angelic realm or in the heavenly realms. It just means that you've given in as spoken to you in yesterday's message. You've forgotten what is real. You're trusting the ego. You're trusting the moment. You're trusting the problem more than the solution. And you're trusting the, the problem more than positivity. So if you have to even on purpose, remind yourself of what is good in your life. Gratitude. Don't wait for the end of the day. Right here, right now. Because in doing that, then what doesn't work for you? I give that care and burden to you, Archangel Raphael. Immediately, he'll pick it up. It'll be that quick because it'll go into the pink part of his compassionate gown of healing. Pure love, pure angelic love, pure heavenly affection surrounding your situation, surrounding you, surrounding your space, your environment, your home, whatever it is, wherever it is that you send it. And send it to multiple places. It's not that you have to just do one concern and one burden and let go and then say, I have to carry the other 30,000 burdens that I have with me. You are releasing everything, all your burdens, give it to him. That's exactly the statement that's below Here, give your cares and worries to us angels. See, he's not just saying this to me, to all of the angelic forces. And allow us to take your burdens. Why is he saying allow? Because you sometimes choose to hold on to burdens and don't even realize it. Why? Because you don't ask for help. Ask for help. And immediately that magenta part of his shawl that he's wearing on his neck will give you the power to express what it is that you need and to express again if needed to clear the air with someone to call a friend to invoke to pray to meditate to clear the air with your own guardian angel if need be to call upon your guardian angel if you don't really have a good deep connection with Two guardian angels are coming up for everyone this day. 
So go ahead. You got one more. And ask, why are you here? Who are you? What's your name? You don't have to be a great psychic for this. You just feel or know. Or you just get a blob of a color or a symbol. And you understand. Or an image comes to you. You might even, some some of you remember your childhood and say, why, why am I remembering my childhood all of a sudden? What has that got to do my, with my guardian angel? It might be that that is the time you were the happiest and your guardian angel wants you to remember that. How easy it is to be happy. So why are you taking on burdens as your identity right now? And your guardian angel, if the name doesn't come, guardian angel, near me right now, help me with and give me a sign. Never ever struggle with names. If you can write it down, that's wonderful. And you'll feel very excited about that then. And share it please with all of us. We'd love to hear your experience. We learn from each other. But if you don't want to, just tell us how it went. Because then you will have the power of sharing and also feel that you've crossed another path. Like, oh, I could not express this earlier and it was a problem for me. Problems, what we do most of the time as human beings, we just hold on to it. We just constrict all inside our tummy, inside our heart, inside our thoughts. And imagine how much garbage we're carrying then. It's not good for us, right? That is why Archangel Raphael says, I'm here to clear this. Look at all parts of this image. Define it for yourself. Don't don't just listen to my message and just go on that. Because there's a huge orb of light around him. That's you expanding your wings. That's why he has those golden wings. It's not just for him as an archangel. It's for you to expand your own spirituality and your own spiritual being and come into your magnificence, you can say. And this time, the left and the right, you decide them for yourself. What is it? The left might be you pushing away all that does not work for you in the past. And the right might be you coming into the future, absolutely magnificent, determined, strong, focused, confident and sure about what you're doing and where you're going and how you're being. So go ahead and do that for yourself. This It's shining, right? Feel that within you, that glow. And see, if you see one wing is going into the future, so it's saying all that you leave behind is left behind easily and effortlessly, much more effort-free than earlier. You'll be shocked at that, some of you. It's so easy to get that loan. It's so easy to buy that car. It's so easy to get that job. I could not do that before. And he's just focused on going forward. So the divine forces... No matter what happens around you or what you think is is the trouble of the hour and that that, that is insurmountable and that can't be changed. It's just, that's my stone. That's my wall. I can't cross that. Yes, you can. See, everything around him is all fluid, moving, changing, molding itself. You just focus on what you're receiving. Pure angelic therapy and love and guidance and motivation to bring you back to what you should be, who you should be. And another gift for you, just decided to give gifts and gifts today, joining in with the angels. You can say the angelic hand, you know, the palms, right? (laughs) One palm is Archangel Raphael because, um, I would not dare assume that I'm in the other palm, but I'm just part of the movement forward, okay? But here, your dominant hand is resting on this affirmation. Beautiful angels, I accept the divine magic surrounding me 
with a heart full of gratitude and love. And I know that the life of my dreams is now mine to experience completely. I acknowledge and receive all the miracles that are being sent to me and trust in heaven's plans for my today and all of my days. Now, how can you go wrong with that? Archangel Raphael is now literally surrounding this message with a huge bubble of white, pink, green, magenta, light, pure love just coming into your heart. Just soak it in. It's never come this way. It's just beautiful. It, there's such an opening on the planet this day. So just soak that in and be glad that you're alive and your problems, they're just momentary and they'll go away. They have to go away because you're meant to be happy. Invite that in, trust that, manifest it, and don't think anything is out of reach. Just be and ask. Receive. You'll be guided, healed, protected to receive the best and highest and good for you and all others involved. You will not harm anyone by asking, but ask and receive. And this comes to you so beautifully from the Archangel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and the superb way that you're going forward looking at this vision and just moving and moving ever so beautifully forward. Flying forward, you can say, glowing forward, <laughs> is through the superb art of Marius Michael George. And Marius can be reached at capital M A R I U S, capital F I N E, capital A R T dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. But do seek your therapy, receive your therapy. And be wholesome in every way, mind, body, spirit. Nothing will lack in your life. Pure abundance, peace, happiness in all realms and all ways. Bye for now.